You are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alerts. Four Metrorail Transit 3 or MRT 3 stations are being eyed as vaccination sites. According to the Department of Transportation, these are MRT 3 stations in Cubao, Shaw Boulevard, Boni, and Ayala. In President Rodrigo Duterte's talk to the People, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugadis said the vaccination facilities are still being subject to the approval of the Department of Health. Aside from the MRT stations, Tugadis said the DOTR is also planning to establish vaccination sites at the airport and seaports. The extension of the shelf life of Merck's anti-COVID-19 medicine Molnupiravir from 6 months to 12 was approved by the Philippine Food and Drug Administration. FDA officer in charge, Director Oscar Gutierrez Jr. said it approved the emergency use authorization of Molnupiravir brands Molnars and Molnaflu. The FDA granted an EUA to Molnupiravir in December 2021. The drug's clinical trials with high-risk individuals have shown to reduce hospitalization and deaths by 30%. As for update on the weather, Pag-asa says the low-pressure area will continue to bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Bicol region, Visayas, and Mindanao. Flash floods and landslides are possible due to the moderate, at times, heavy rains in low-lying areas or near waterways. The LPA was last located in the vicinity of Talakogon, Agusan del Sur earlier this morning. It is less likely to develop into a tropical cyclone according to the Pag-asa's weekly weather outlook. For entertainment news, here's Leslie Ordinario. Chris Aquino denied rumors that she was in a critical condition due to her autoimmune disease. Aquino shared a photo and addressed speculations regarding her health in the caption, saying that it has been disturbing that many have been spreading misinformation about her being in a critical condition. She then thanked her real friends who reached out to her to send her food, fruits, flowers, and more to express their care for the TV host. The TV host ended the caption by saying good night but not yet goodbye. Meanwhile, Meta builds new AI supercomputer. Facebook's parent company Meta announced on Monday that it is launching a supercomputer which they claim to be one of the world's most powerful ones that could process images and videos up to 20 times faster than its current systems. Meta said the machine would become the fastest AI machine in the world when fully built in the next few months. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to Global Daily Mirror, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Nice Martinez. Good afternoon.